The roots of our past define our future. Now, in its 45th year, the Iowa Soybean Association reflects on its proud legacy and partnership with Iowa farm families and their communities. Increasing obesity rates are boosting consumer awareness of the need to eat healthier foods. The Iowa Soybean Association believes Iowa-grown soybeans should be a global choice for healthy diets and a source of protein for human consumption and livestock production. One accomplishment that is helping improve the diets of consumers globally is the introduction of several new soybean varieties. Developed by Walt Fair, a soybean breeder at Iowa State University, these varieties with low linoleic acid and low saturated fat are another example of Iowa soybean checkoff dollars at work. Brian Kemp, a soybean farmer from Sibley, Iowa, and director of the Iowa Soybean Association, talks about the benefits of ISA's commitment to plant breeding research. Iowa soybean producers face many crop production challenges, many resulting in yield loss. Our best defense against diseases and insects is genetic resistance. It's more stable and begins working to protect the plant long before we can see a problem and react to it. Soybean aphids have cost Iowa soybean producers millions of dollars in lost yield and chemical costs. We believe there is a better way. That's why Iowa State University soybean breeders are developing soybeans with natural genetic resistance to the aphid. Other checkoff funded researchers have discovered and released a tiny stingless wasp that kills the aphid. Scientists believe this tiny little insect will help suppress the aphid population so soybean producers spray fewer chemicals. The soybean cyst nematode is known to be present in nearly 75% of Iowa soybean fields. Many scientists have reported that soybean varieties labeled as SCN resistant are becoming more susceptible to SCN. To minimize this problem, we began the search for new sources of SCN resistance more than three years ago. As a result, later this year, Iowa State University will release germplasm with a totally new source of natural resistance to SCN. A second source is being incorporated into germplasm that also contains resistance to brown stem rot and sudden death syndrome. These diseases are found throughout Iowa and often seriously reduce soybean yield by rotting the root and stem of the soybean plant. The varieties you will plant will soon have better protection from these diseases while allowing you to maintain competitive yields. The Iowa Soybean Association believes you should have every opportunity to grow soybeans profitably. That's why our research is focused on you. Your soybean checkoff Expanding opportunities, delivering results. For more information, visit www.iasoybeans.com backslash production research.